Hello my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. I hope you're doing well. Today is Thursday and I'm trying to have a pretty productive day because I have some girlfriends coming over this weekend. I have one coming over tomorrow morning, pretty early in the morning. That's why I wanna get a lot done today. And then I have another one coming over Saturday evening. We're gonna have a little girls weekend, so I'm really excited. I got my car washed, I filled up my gas, I cleaned out as much as I could of my car. I haven't cleaned my car out in a really long time, so there was a lot of like built up trash and junk in here. I have to clean my entire apartment to get it ready. Feels like a lot. It's not that much, but it feels like a lot to do. I think just thinking about it is kind of overwhelming me a little bit, but I'm at the gym right now. I haven't been really consistent with the gym because I got these, I got this mouth procedure like about a month ago, I think at this point. And I basically have had these temporary crowns on my molars. So I haven't been able to chew really. And whenever I'm supposed to go in, I'm, so I'm only supposed to have the temporary crowns on for like two weeks. But whenever I go into the dentist, they're like, oh, the permanent crowns actually need some adjustments. So we can't put them on yet. So you gotta keep the tempers on. And it's happened twice already, which has been kind of unfortunate. I had an appointment two days ago. That was the second time that they said like, yeah, we have to keep the tempers on. So every time they say that, I have to wait two more weeks for them to get the new permanent ones in. So it's just this buildup of like hope over two weeks. And then I go in thinking that I'll get permanent crowns in and I'll be able to chew and eat normally. It's been a little disheartening, but it's okay. You know, what are you gonna do? But I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna get a good workout in. But then again, I couldn't mind that Got me like, what's in your coffee? I hope you call me And we can talk about our hobbies, yeah Like finding movies to get lost in And quoting phrases from the office What's it like to wear that halo? So sweet it's painful So would you put me on your payroll, girl? I know it's probably not too healthy You got me over here obsessing, whoa Place your item in the bagging area. Four ninety nine. How many bags did you use? Ten cents. Your total is. This has been my breakfast every day for the past few weeks. Or just like smoothies in general have been my breakfast for the past few weeks. Every day. I think I've had more smoothies in the past few weeks than I've had in my entire life. And it's really good, you know, don't get me wrong, it's really tasty. It's just when I have to have smoothies, they're not as great. <laughs> I cannot wait till I get these permanent crowns in so I can go back to just eating whatever the hell I want because this sucks. It does taste good though. You know, you get your fruits, your veg, your protein out of the way. Hello my love. So I just finished deep cleaning the cat's litter boxes and now I'm going to put my hair in an oil mask. I usually oil my hair once a week and I usually do that on Sundays, but I'm going to do it today just because, you know, I'm having my girlfriends come over and I want my hair to look nice. They're going to be here on Sunday, so I don't want to have to like worry about my hair. You know what I mean?
And then I like to put on a shower cap, so I'm gonna look a little silly, as if I don't already look silly and like an egg. I like to just put on a shower cap. Cute! It kind of just keeps, you know, any flyaways out of the way. And I also feel like it keeps the heat trapped in and it feels like everything sort of soaks in even more. I know some people use like saran wrap to wrap their hair and I personally let this sit for anywhere between like four to six hours and then I wash it out. I double shampoo, uh, make sure to do a scalp massage in the shower and then I condition. That's it. Now what's great about doing this on like Sundays because Sundays are the days where I try to catch up on any chores or any work and I just clean a bunch. It's just I have, I do this, put all my hair up, do all my silly little tasks, my silly little chores around the apartment, and then I have a nice, relaxing, like, full, fresh shower on my fresh sheets. The best way to end the night. But yeah, this is gonna be the look for the next few hours. I just got out of the shower a little bit ago. I did my skincare, feeling like a like a glazed donut. I washed my hair. It feels so, so good. Oh my god. I'm just using a wide tooth comb to comb it all out. And while my hair is still damp, I like to spray a leave-in conditioner. And right now it's 9.46, so I'll probably let my hair air dry for maybe like 30-45 minutes or so. And then I will blow dry it, and it takes maybe 10 minutes to blow dry, so not too long. It's been about 45 minutes, and I'm going to blow dry my hair. I use the Dyson Air Wrap. Once it's basically 90% dry, I go in with this attachment and it kind of just smooths everything down. Okay, and that is my complete hair care routine. I think she looks pretty cute. I'm very happy with my hair journey over the last few months because I was looking at some old videos of myself and my hair was damaged. My hair did not look cute. So I'm really happy with how it's been looking lately. It feels a lot stronger lately too. My hair used to feel super dry and brittle. I put it through hell. You know, we did a lot of bleaching, a lot of hair colors for a very long time and a lot of heat. You know, I'm finally giving her some love, giving myself some love. I think it's paying off. <laughs> Sorry, I keep playing with it. I love how my hair feels like right when it's freshly washed and dried. Oh, 
It feels so nice. <laughs> And that is going to be the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up to let me know. And also leave a comment, let me know how you're doing. I always love reading your comments. And of course, before you go, if you haven't already heard today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so, so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!